Maybe you weren't as far away from Aaron Burr as you thought. (laughs) (laughs) Our show can be a profound experience for those who take the journey. It is a real reimagining of self. But it doesn't stop there. I would never imagine that he would be in my family. Meet Yvette Odom and Leslie Odom Sr. as they share their thoughts on their son's episode of Finding Your Roots. What's it like for you to learn this? This is wonderful. My mom's going to love to hear that, too. Wow. Our journey began with Leslie Odom Jr.'s maternal grandfather, a man named Benjamin Nixon. Leslie and I were both surprised when we found Benjamin's father, a man who shared his name, in the 1925 census for Brooklyn and saw where he had come from. Your great-grandfather was born in South Africa. Wow. You're from South Africa. That's great. Amazing. Simply amazing. When we lived in Flushing, there was a family that lived in our building, and most of the women would walk past me and said, yes, you are from our country, your family comes from Africa. I just want to let you know that. And I kept thinking, where, where, where in Africa? Now I know why I have such a strong love for Africa. It's good, very grounding. Would you please turn the page? Who is that? That is your fourth (laughs) (laughs) great-grandfather. That is Elijah Henry Dowling. Oh, really? Okay. That is your grandpappy. (laughs) (laughs) I got to say, I was a little surprised. (laughs) I knew that there was mixture between the races in my family. And knowing the relationship that the Dowlings had with the people in power got me to understand a little bit more about how certain people would have privilege. My grandmother's brothers were kind of wild fellas, and they would always kind of be able to get out of trouble, so to speak, because they were related to the Dowlings. We knew that Leslie's fourth great-grandmother was a woman named Rachel, and we suspected that Rachel was enslaved by the Dowling family. A list of articles appraised belonging to the estate of D. Dowling, October 28th, 1857. Rachel and Child, $950. What's it like to have this information? Knowing whatever the appraisers assigned to them is irrelevant to me, but to honor the fact that they lived, that they weren't objects. Is, is deeply meaningful and and rights are wrong, you know. I felt kind of bad for him because it almost feels like intellectually he knew that those kinds of things were going on, but uh, I guess to see it be a part of his being really had a really strong effect on him. We're talking about human beings. They're not a table or a chair or a horse. They're people. That's hurtful to actually see it in writing. To be able to name roots, to be able to trace roots, is, uh, you know, and remove question marks. It's uh, centering, it's grounding. Pardon the pun. You know? No, it is. It's a good word for it. I'm just happy that my grandchildren are going to have this program available to them. And for my son to go back and walk them through the whole thing that I walked him through from the sharecropper to the actor. The earlier you teach, the more they're going to grow with the pride in knowing that I don't have to question about anything. I don't have to question where I am from. I know. It's a wonderful feeling. 